What's going on everybody? I'm sure that you have probably heard that Disney Plus is getting three new characters and they look like they're gonna be really good. I'm happy that we're getting super solid confirmation about all these MCU continuity spin-off shows that are coming to Disney Plus. So let's check them out. The first one is Moon Knight, who if you guys don't know, and I don't blame you if you don't, because Moon Knight is, this guy's crazy, this guy is insane. He is basically white suit Batman mixed in with just mental nonsense. The guy is crazy, or at least he might be. Some people have said that his mental instability could only be described as actual magic. That's how insane Moon Knight actually is. And he has all the gadgets that Batman has. This guy has the most ridiculous weaponry ever. But then he goes a step further because instead of just crippling people like Batman does, Moon Knight also has no problem with killing people. So there's that. And then we have Miss Marvel, who has gotten a lot of traction in the last couple years. And you might be looking at this and going, wait, that's not my Miss Marvel. No, I know, I get it. Hold on, listen, let me tell you what happened. So, what happened was, Carol Danvers is Captain Marvel. And then, this chick is an inhuman who gets sprayed in the face with Terrigen Mist when they're just, you know, being released all over the country and the rest of the world. And she unlocks her inhuman abilities. Miss Marvel is a huge fangirl. I'm talking like just the nerdiest type of fangirl in the world and she also gets to be a superhero and hang out with other superheroes so you know she's just loving her life but when she uses her powers for the first time to actually try and be a superhero stuff doesn't go out well that's not what i'm getting at she decides to call herself miss marvel which you can imagine there were some bumps seeing as how captain marvel didn't approve this and then we have she hulk and people i just have to say this so that you know if you don't these are actual comments that i have read people think that she hulk is a character that Marvel is now for the first time making to go on Disney Plus. That it is just, instead of using regular Hulk, they're making a woman Hulk. No, guys, She-Hulk has been around since the 80s. She-Hulk is the actual cousin of Bruce Banner. And she's shown up in tons of different things. She's been part of the Avengers, she's been part of Fantastic Four, she's been part of the Defenders. She-Hulk has gotten around in the Marvel comics. So this is not a brand new thing, just so you know. And side note, I think she's awesome. I think She-Hulk is cooler than the other side of the pillow. And honestly, I am so excited with what they've been doing with her now that she kind of rages out just like Bruce instead of having control of her transformation. It's fantastic, but that's just me. And even though these aren't new things that they announced, they did talk about the Scarlet Witch and Vision series. And in the poster that they had at D23, you can actually see Vision and Scarlet Witch's costumes in the shadows behind them. This looks really crazy because they have this 50s theme, and I'm thinking that Scarlet Witch might have finally tapped into her reality-altering powers, and she's broken after Endgame, and now she is in a world where Vision is alive, even though he's not. And then we have Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and this one's gonna be great because the government is not cool with Falcon, even though Captain America signed off on it. So it's gonna be great seeing them have to fight villains and fight America because, ah, legalities, whatever. But there was a poster for this one, and even though you don't get to see Sam's full front costume, it does look nice. But with these shows coming, She-Hulk, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, the new stuff for WandaVision, and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, let me know which one you guys are excited to see, and oh my god, we need to talk about What If, because the What If series is going to be crazy. But let me know what you guys think about these Disney Plus Phase 4 shows that are coming out. What do you guys want to see show up on Disney Plus next? since it looks like the MCU isn't going anywhere for a good while. Put it all down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. And if you're new, make sure you stick around and enjoy the videos with everyone else. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Goodbye.